Okay, so a cop just dropped this off to us. You're probably not gonna know what it is, Donnie, but they told us it was found in someone's bathtub. It's a baby, more or less, crocodile. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh boy, Kevin just pulled it too. He's gonna love this. Oh, season. Kevin's gonna love it. This is Christian. What's going on, guys? Yeah, yeah. So like, we're outside. The doors go crazy. Yeah. Oh man, Daddy Kevin's over there now. Papa Kev. Yeah, we'll wait to show him because this might not be the opportune time to show him that. Yeah. It's too cold. It's a little cold. This is a more let's crocodile that the police just brought to us in a little Red Bull box. Oh, what a good choice. Yeah, so <laughs> she clearly has wings. Yeah. But more let crocodiles are a moderate sized crocodile. They get about nine feet, I think. More let's crocodiles have a very broad snout with 66 to 68 teeth when they're fully mature. They have four short legs, giving them a rather sprawling gait and a long tail, which is used for swimming. More or less, crocodiles can be found in freshwater habitats in Central America and along the Gulf of Mexico, stretching through Belize, Guatemala, and to Mexico. Recently, the more or less crocodile has been introduced into the Rio Grande. I, I guess they thought they were alligators, but uh, well, if you couldn't tell, you know, I'm getting all my information from Wikipedia. The best source of information the internet has to offer. If you look at her, she's actually really calm. So what we're hoping is, is that Kevin is gonna grow her up, get her nice and big and healthy, and she'll be here at New England Reptile. So they're not really like a, the ideal pet for no, who own it? Not in a bathtub. Did the cop insinuate where they got it? Uh, kind of. He said maybe a drug house. <laughs> Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Oh, uh, they would own one of these, wouldn't they? They would. So he probably is going to have a better life here. Definitely. Do, um, uh, Christian, how old are you? 20. 20? I feel like I'm interviewing you for something weird. <laughs> And what's your ideal first date? <laughs> nice yeah. walk on the beach. Yeah, that's you know, cool. Maybe a little Chardonnay. Yeah. Maybe the notebook afterwards. Nice. It's all, we Thank could you. do that one time, Donnie. Awesome, I love you. that. Christian's gonna be doing uh, some of our big steak stuff, so we'll probably yeah. work together with him for some retake feeding, which I need, because we haven't really had anybody in that role that's been official. We're gonna do some hand feedings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want them views, man. <laughs> we gotta chase those views, Donnie. That's right. We gotta chase the views. All I want in life is just clout. Oh. Wow. That's why we work here. That's right. That's why we work at New York Top. Uh, we're gonna show us to Kevin when he's yeah. in a good mood because he was upset he's been here earlier. He lost his license here. He did. Did he find it? Yeah. It was, was in the road. With why the racks. Why did he leave it in there? He left it on a rack? <laughs> Dude, this is the crazy thing about Three time. hours. Three hours we were looking I for. Know. it. Oh my goodness. So guys, you, you want to work at New York Reptile? This is what it's about. <laughs> Finding right. IDs in rodent rooms. That's right. That's right. Oh, and uh, I don't know. We are we have a live stream right now going up 24 hours. So if you guys are interested, join our Twitch. And most of you guys are already there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be getting some better equipment because this is uh, all my old encoding bags here, and I'm using my old camera. And uh, I would love to get inside the enclosures. So. I just realized I have updated our hardware. I've actually hooked a bunch of cameras into our network, and we're gonna be showing a whole bunch of cameras inside of enclosures. We're definitely gonna be putting one on Lilith and Snarfles and some other fan favorites. So come to our 24 hour live stream on Twitch, guys. We're currently behind Kevin, but I'm afraid to tell him what we have in the box. He might be upset. I just got back and I have to check on shipments. There's an alarm going off. Why don't you have time for me? Is it on the racks? The alarm is going off. We'll just wait for the opposite, right? Perfect opportunity. Hi. Thank you for the bread. You're welcome. I see bread. Ah. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> what? Uh, what? This is what I do. This, I'm holding a camera. It's not that weird. What you doing, Daddy Kevin? I was checking on today's shipments yeah. because I had to run away. Yeah. The, the clean. They're cutting. Yeah. He doesn't even know what's happening. No. He thinks we just have their little camera. Yeah. 
What do you do with the red? I got red you some box. Red Bull. I don't but want it. Just sit down. What is that? What is this? A cop gave it to us outside. He told us it was found in a bathtub. Yeah. We uh, we kind of have an idea where it came from. That's what? a Morrowlet's that's crocodile. Is this a big deal, Kevin? There, it's actually. First of all, it's, it's friendly. There, is. there certainly. It's, it's. They gave it it's a probably the, the, the sweetest um, crocodile to have. It does not like your camera. It's actually really healthy. Nothing likes the, you don't even like the camera. <laughs> you don't. Oh, I probably have food on my face. <laughs> you, look fine. you look great. You look fine. So, well, you're you're stunned. Well, we're gonna. Have I, I, you kind of caught me off guard. Well, this is what we're gonna be doing from now on. I'm just gonna be following you around. Oh my God, you are sweet. Man, you don't yeah, we like this. I'm done. I don't think okay. Kevin knows what he's. I like, excited. I like it. I like this. The red. That's the. What is that? A liquor? Is that a? It was joke. sugar free. No, they no. They literally brought it to us in this. Do? They literally walked to the front door, asked if that's anyone so works stupid. here. Here. What he's, are they he's wonderful. Put it that in, in a better box than that. It's okay. Hot man. What is he supposed to be? Fine. Bye, Dad. He's not in the mood for it. No. It's okay though, because you know what? This is gonna be a great animal at New England Reptile Town now. We're yeah. gonna give it a good life, and like Kevin said, it's already socialized. You are usually not able to do this with a crocodile, guys. Okay, so with Kaboon Vipers, heavy, heavy bodied animal, kind of try to keep them low just in case they, you know, they could fall. He's so well behaved, it's ridiculous. Oh, and there, is this the skin that came off of him? This is the one that I've really trapped myself in. I gotta. This is where if I... I'm going to give this away by the end of the stream, so whatever... I, I just hope that I don't just screw it all up. I got to... He's not losing his cookies or anything. These guys are native to Africa, tropical Africa. And this is an animal that lives in the leaf litter. And this is a, a not an active hunter. This is an animal that sets itself up and sets up for ambush. And it will get into the leaf litter. But if you look at this this patterning, which is just delightful in my opinion, it's just gorgeous. But if you put this in with a bunch of dry leaves, it's incredibly cryptic. And what they do is they mask their, their eyes, but see these horns? So what I think they do is, there's a couple different ways these guys are actually able to locate their prey. First thing is they find a trail where let's say rodents have been using it so they detect a rodent path. And what they'll do is they'll locate themselves along this path kind of burrow into whatever's around it and they become part of the background and then they wait. And if a rodent comes along, the animal, if it's awake, it, it's just gonna, as soon as it goes by, it's gonna nail it. It's got massive, massive fangs. When we've noticed when they actually catch birds, they'll actually bite the bird and hang onto it because they know the bird can fly, fly off. But these animals are discerning the difference between a rodent prey that might leave a scent trail versus a bird which could fly off. So an animal like this I think might actually have big fangs to penetrate through the feathers. And it's probably quite likely that these guys actually can attract potential prey to themselves by moving their eyes and moving the horns of the nose and certainly the rhino vipers. So we have, we have some species, let's say like green tree pythons, a bunch of different tree vipers their tail. They'll wiggle their tail and sometimes the tail will be different colored and they call that caudal luring. So the, you know, the tip of the tail to lure. We might have something like an alligator snapping turtle that uses its tongue to lure. Well these guys might use their eyes and the little uh, protrusions above their uh, nostrils as a way to it. lure things. So what we're looking right now, we're looking at this is uh, this caterpillar type motion. So, if I want to teach you, all of its belly scoots, you're, you're safe, Tommy. I feel like I am. You're safe. Hold on, just don't do anything yet. So I have to just manage this. So, all of his, uh, actually her, belly scoots are attached to a pair of ribs. So through muscle movement, she can take a pair of ribs and then take that belly scoot and move it forward so it kind of gains traction. So that means these guys can live in these uh, you know areas where there's a lot of sand. It's very hard to get traction and they don't have the serpentine movement, they actually have this caterpillar movement. So 
Can you very into me right now? Can, can you, I what? Can I'm, you look that belly scale? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right. Yeah, we can see the both belly scales. She's being really calm. This is she's good. she's a doll. Good. So once again, this is an animal that through the constant, you know, socialization and then really supportive type, respectful handling and involvement with this animal, she learns to trust us. Nothing bad ever happens to her. We don't handle her in a thoughtless manner, worrying about hurting her, scaring her. So it's always just positive support. And this animal changes its behavior and we had to earn this. But this is a very, very sweet animal. So I'm going to tell you something else about Gaboon Vipers. Gaboon Vipers and Rhino Vipers can lull you into a false feeling of security. What can they? Yes. <laughs> and what that means is we watch this animal, very thoughtful, uh, kind of slow moving animal, very, very passive. Very, very sweet, right? Right. When it's time to eat, this animal turns into a different creature. Incredibly lightning fast strikes. Like there's no, I'm fast, right? And I can anticipate a lot, but there is no way I'm faster than the strike of this animal. And then to get whacked by this animal and the type of venom and all that. Uh, when you deal with venomous animals, no bite. That's it. That is literally it. How many bites you had? Zero bites. Never. You don't get bit. It's just, that's just it. That's, that's your protocol. Don't get bit. When you play with guns and you're on the range, people, if you're responsible and you handle, you know, say a handgun in a thoughtful way and you make sure there's nothing in the chamber and you, you know, your clips out of it, you really reduce all of the worries. But most people that target shoot, well, how many times have you shot yourself? None, because of their, their adherence to protocols. Same thing. I would love to free handle this animal. And, and, and you know you could. And I might be able to free handle it a thousand times. But maybe on that one time, Something went wrong. The snake was having a bad day. What happens if I held the animal and there was some kind of uh, like pain? Like let's say the animal actually had a condition and I put my hand in a place that actually hurt the animal and the animal instinct instinctually responds to pain thinking I was the reason for the hurting it. And that animal reacts defensively that I never anticipated. That animal bites me and it could be a dry bite. A lot of bites are dry bites, but it could also be a uh, full envenomation and it would be terrible. Let me ask you something. So, you know, she's straight out right now and she's not slinkied up. Yeah. Does that mean she really can't strike as far when she's full? Oh, yeah. Straight it's, but yeah, but we always, we don't want to underestimate. She doesn't have the, the recurve part where she can push herself forward, but she's a very muscular animal. Uh, capable of probably magnificent physical feats where she could probably... Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no, she's great. <laughs> See how wonderful she is? She's like, just, this is just like a sweet animal. She's like, it's not my fault I have inch and a half fangs and horrible venom. That's not her fault. I mean, if I started moving around fast right now, she'd change. It, I know she would. She, if I freaked her out. She's right. She's, she's a smart snake, dude. That's she's, good. She's like, so, okay, so see right now? Yeah. She stopped doing the tongue flick. Right. She had to reassess, reassess. So you guys just, hopefully you're getting some of what I'm teaching you. So she's gone into this thing where the tongue flicking isn't coming out as much. Now she's observing Donnie. She's observing the potential threat of the camera. And she's kind of like wondering, I can change this. So right now doing this, if I want to get her back, See where I put my hand, see, watch this. Nice and gentle. You're letting her know you're there. So, but look how tactile, that animal. So if I go and, and abruptly 
touch her, sometimes I can kind of spook her. But see what I did? I got the brain going. See that? She's back to... I'm not scared. And, and that huffing and puffing just means there's a little worry. Another thing that when we're dealing with non-venomous animals, I'm always interested in controlling this portion of the animal right here. But I have to use my hand. When I'm using a hook, a hook is a very static, hard, non-forgiving thing. I, I want to get like a hook company that makes ridiculously good hooks and I need to get a bunch here. Uh, stronger hooks. I, the hooks that I use are really largely they're garbage. You could probably get a sponsor. Like the big I, thing is they, you know, they gave, they give, you know, the big channel sponsor. I, yeah, I mean, I guess we probably would probably be thrilled to I'd get any kind of sponsorship from uh, Hooks. What do you suggest? So Johnny this? was telling me um, the company that he's working with uh, was it's Venom. Can't make sure I know the last name, but they he brought up some of his stuff, and oh my god, his equipment was really really nice. So either I have to buy some or whatever, but. Really, really good stuff. Stronger hooks. We were dealing with Lilith yesterday, and my my hook was literally bending all over the place as I was dealing with Lilith. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, Jeez. she bends this. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna take a shot at breeding uh, Lilith this this year. What do you think? Now, are you gonna use Lucifer? Okay, Lucifer's too small. He's too small. Me. I think she might kill him. So right now, I have not. When you fully... say kill him. You mean eat him? Eat him, right? As a snack? That's yes. what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Make it sure. Yeah. Even though Lucifer's a bad hombre. He is. He really is. He is. You guys missed our last video. He attacked my, 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 my microphone and Kevin had to For stay For almost five minutes. And Jim Mother had to film. Yeah. That was pretty, pretty crazy. That was intense. I turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on! <laughs>